Back in 2017, we developed a five-year strategic plan for the group. And I'm pleased to say, look, we're nearly at the end of that five-year plan in terms of delivering all of the key things that we set out. And the first part of that plan was really to make our stores destinations. So really within the last four to five years, we've invested very heavily. You're gonna see this today, certainly in terms of Newbridge, uh, which I think is a good example in terms of where we've moved from of being a quality retailer to being an exceptional quality retailer. We bought this site in 2016 from the Brennan family here in Newbridge and it was originally a Maxall dealership with a Mace branded uh, shop and I suppose in 2019 we began a large development here to bring it to what you can see today which is a more food focused destination in Newbridge um, obviously with fuel, premium fuels, our Maxall Deli offering, uh, the rotisserie concept that you can see here and also the, uh, the Burger King drive through which has uh, been a great success. 2020 as it was worldwide, it was a challenging year for us in retail. As soon as COVID hit, our business dramatically changed overnight. We went from being the provider of your top-up coffee on the way to work, your sandwich, the builders taking their break, to being the go-to area in the community for your treat yourself break from working from home. The Maxall own label range, which launched in 2019, has really just grown from strength to strength. With over 40 products in the Maxall own label range now, we have car care, our own label milk, and then we also have our pre-packed sandwich range, which helps our customers top up on the go. Within the first two weeks of the pandemic really being, being uh, you know, brought home to us, we invested very heavily in terms of screening and protection for all of our staff in counters. We increased the number of sanitization stations right across our stores, and we also put in very clear signage just to keep our customers right in terms of the right measures, in terms of social distancing, to wear their face coverings. And the other thing which we did in the initial days of the pandemic was to advertise and let our customers know that we were still open for them. Working with Aramark here in Newbridge as our licensee has been a wonderful experience right from the start. Aramark have five stores with us as licensees, four here in the south and one in Northern Ireland. Once the pandemic hits, we in Aramark start every meeting with a safety moment. Part of our safety moment in Maxon Newbridge every morning during the pandemic was about training around COVID procedures and COVID policies for our customers and our staff. So the information is sent down every morning to our general manager Zoe. Zoe then gets the information and she has a safety brief with all her team to make sure that we're completely COVID compliant for all our staff and all our customers. The project started in November 2019 and obviously it was due to finish in May but you had the pandemic which uh, happened us in March so we had to close the site down. Whilst it took a little bit longer we completed it in, um, the, in August 2020 and you can see the great uh, development that we have here today. Yeah, look, 2020 was a fantastic year to celebrate our centenary uh, but obviously with COVID-19 that brought many many complications to what we actually could do as a business. But one of the big things that we actually did bring to, uh, uh, to actually celebrate our centenary was the book launch, uh, which really was a celebration of the 100 years of our rich history. And really the background to that book was researched by Noel McMullen, one of the family, and also the book was actually written by Turtle Bunbury, one of the famous Irish historians. And we brought that and we launched that really just towards the end of October, early November last year. And that was the first point in terms of bringing together the 100 years in terms of our history. In terms of, of where we're moving to, obviously mobility is being challenged, electrification is coming, climate action plan and all of these new targets set by governments right across the globe are going to have a big impact in terms of traditional liquid fuels that we have been selling for over 100 years. So therefore we've got to start to reposition our business. By the time we reach 2030, I believe, there will be more electric vehicles on the road uh, than what we have today, most definitely. So therefore, we need to be able to serve those cars and we need to have an infrastructure in terms of where those cars can actually charge. And we're looking at that within our business already. But also, there's going to be a shift. People just won't always charge their vehicles within our forecourts or in terms of public charging parks. They're going to charge at home. And that's why you know, we've gone into a joint venture in terms of setting up Bright Energy, which really is selling electricity to domestic households 
right across Ireland, south and north, but also going into the SME sector. We will soon be starting to supply our own green electricity to our company-owned sites right across Ireland by the end of this year. Again, we are working on a new joint venture to launch Eco Express, which is a click-and-collect delivery parcel business, which will serve all of our sites and another 1,500 locations right across the Republic of Ireland where your parcel can be left for you there to pick at a time of your convenience. What we've learned during the pandemic is a rapid move away from cash and traditional forms of payment to contactless. That's here to stay. Uh, people want that convenience. What we're looking at doing now is launching a new app where people can pay for their fuel using their mobile, tap and go. The same for your car wash, tap and go. And also we will be then bringing in rewards and treats for all of those customers who come in to visit our stores. There'll be an element of fun with gamification because we all like to have a bit of fun. And you know, let's be honest, the mobile phone is really your third hand. In Maxall, we launched our premium fuel offer in uh, mid-2019. While we wanted to give the customer a premium fuel product um, as people are investing in their cars and really starting to mine their cars, um, we also wanted to do something for the environment. Speaking to our customers, it's very important to them and it's also very important to ourselves. Our carbon offset project is based around our premium fuels and every time a customer buys a litre of premium fuels from any of our service stations on the island of Ireland, we offset their exhaust emissions. In terms of our coffee brand, the first thing that we decided to do when we were launching Rosa Coffee was to make sure all of our packaging was compostable. Not just in terms of the cup, but the lid and the stirrers and everything else that, that went around it. It was also very important for us to make sure that we went for fair trade coffee. It's more expensive, but it's important that we make sure that the right uh, standards are being maintained for the producers. So sustainability for any forward-thinking organisation must be top of the agenda.